discuss about trees. Trees is chapter eight of your textbook. Uh, please, please, please go through the textbook. Our textbook is uh, uploaded in uh, Teams. Pe. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very beautiful book. It's a very amazing book. The way the author, Lovaz, Laszlo Lovaz, uh, he's uh, one of the greatest mathematicians, living mathematician, mathematician I, should, I should say. He is a living legend. So uh, uh, he has explained so beautiful these concepts of uh, counting and these concepts of uh, graphs and these all, all these things. So please, kitab ko padhe. The was ki jo aapki textbook hai. Right now we are going going through chapter eight of it. So go through the book. So uh, la in last class we were discussing graphs. Last week we, we discussed about graphs. So today we move on to a special kind of structure, special kind of graph, which, which are called trees. Trees are used in many places. Uh, and many of you people have studied data structure or they are studying data structures right now. So uh, in our programming the data structures, we are using many of them use tree structure. Uh, also, also uh, in uh, algorithms, we use trees. For example, our binary search algorithm, what is the tree we use? Karo tha, binary tree we use? Karo tha. Uh, uh, sorting me and many other algorithms, we use trees. So let's see, trees kya hai. Uh, quickly recap the last lecture, last few lecture, lectures, chapter 7. Jo humne kiya tha. So graph, we already know graph kya hai. <coughs> graphs are vertices and nodes, uh, vertices and edges, nodes and edges. Mari Jobi entities hoti hai, Jobi process hoti hai, unko hum nodes ke saath represent kare or entities, nodes, vertices, in ke dharmiyan mein, dharmiyan mein aapas mein relationship kya hai, us relationship ko hum edges se represent kerte hai. Agar to do nodes ke dharmiyan relationship exist kerte hai, to ek edge exist karega if there's no relationship so there won't be any edge so uh, uh one important thing that we discussed was degree degree and uh, degree means how many edges are incident on a vertex on a particular vertex how many edges are coming into it hum simple graphs ki baat kare simple graphs ki hum Simple graph kya hote hai? These are not directed graph, undirected graph hote hai. Koi self loop nahi hota. Yani koi aisa edge nahi hai ki wo wapis usi node ke upar aajai self loop. Multiple edges nahi hote hai. Just simple, simple single edges hote hai. So you can move along in any direction on those edges. So degree kya hai? Ek node ke saath kitne edges attached hai, linked hai. In other words, we can say that a vertex is how many neighbors are. Neighbors are connected with the edges. So degree means how many degree of a vertex is how many edges are incident on a vertex. And graph ki degree is what is sum of all degrees, sum of degrees of all the vertices in the graph. We call it graph ki degree. Ya, total, total degree bhi sakte degree of the graph. Degree of graph is always even number. On it is two times number of edges in the graph. Two times number of edges. Jitne bhi number of edges hai, us, us ke two times hai, two ke multiple as so it means it has to be even. And then we had very beautiful result and which is due so many places for proofs and graphs. Ke, do, jo pas odd degree vertices hai, wo wale vertex jin ki degree odd hai. 1, 3, 5, 7, is there a degree? How many vertex are there? How many vertex are there? This number is even. Number of odd degree vertices are 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 even. Uh, odd degree vertices has to be even. 
ये हमने इसका प्रूफ किया था क्लास में एंड देन वी डिस्कस सम डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ग्राफ्स उसमें हमने देखिए एम टी ग्राफ या नल ग्राफ क्या होता है जिसमें कोई एज नहीं होता देन वी हैड कम्प्लीट ग्राफ इन विच ऑल एजेस आर प्रेजेंट तो नल ग्राफ एंड कम्प्लीट ग्राफ आर कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ ईच अदर एक दूसरे के कॉम्प्लीमेंट है and uh, then we had like uh, wheel graph star graph and then we had paths we had cycles we studied all these kind of graphs and in in last lecture we were discussing some interest uh, some interesting results these there were two results very interesting one was eilerian graph eilerian graph वो ग्राफ होता है जिसमें आइलेरियन ट्रेल या आइलेरियन पाथ या आइलेरियन साइकिल वी कैन डिफाइन और आइलेरियन पाथ क्या हम क्या डिफाइन करते हैं स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम एनी पर्टिकुलर नोड वी कवर ऑल द एजेस ऑन ईच एज हैज टू बी विजिटेड ओनली वंस ग्राफ के अंदर जितने भी एजेस हैं हमने हर एक एज पे जाना है और किसी एज को हमने दो बार ट्रेवर्स नहीं करना किसी एज को दो बार विजिट नहीं करना इफ सच काइंड ऑफ पाथ एग्जिस्ट दिस ग्राफ इज कॉल आइलेरियन ग्राफ एंड देन वी हैव अदर रिलेटेड कॉन्सेप्ट इट वाज हेमिल्टोनियन ग्राफ आइलेरियन ग्राफ के लिए हमारे पास क्विक चेक था कि अगर तमाम वर्टिस की डिग्री इवन है तो आलेरियन पाथ एग्जिस्ट करेगा अगर किसी दो वर्टिस की डिग्री ऑड हो जाती है तो एक सेमी हाइलेरियन पाथ एग्जिस्ट करेगा यानी यू कवर ऑल द एजेस बट यू डू नॉट कम बैक टू योर स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट और अगर दो से ज्यादा वर्टिस की डिग्री ऑड है देन वी कैन नॉट डिफाइन आइलेरियन ग्राफ आइलेरियन पाथ तो इट्स नॉन आइलेरियन ग्राफ हेमल्टोनियन साइकिल या हेमल्टोनियन ग्राफ सो एज कम्पेयर टू आइलेरियन ग्राफ हेमल्टोनियन ग्राफ में क्या होता है we have to visit each and every node in only one time eilerian graph mein we have to visit each and every as exactly once hamiltonian graph ya hamiltonian cycle mein we have to visit each and every node exactly once uh, hamiltonian uh, cycle find out karna in a large graph it's not easy we don't have a quick check कि हम एग्जैक्टली बता सकें कि इसमें हेमल्टोनियन साइकिल एग्जिस्ट करेगा कि नहीं करेगा देर आर सर्टन एल्गोरिथम्स बट वी डू नॉट हैव एन एफिशिएंट एल्गोरिथम फॉर दिस थिंग फॉर सर्टन ग्राफ देर आर एफिशिएंट एल्गोरिथम बट वी कैन नॉट हैव अ जनरलाइज्ड क्विक चेक फॉर दिस थिंग सो हमने एक और थ्योरम पढ़ा था जिसमें वी हैड दिस थिंग इफ वी हैव any two vertices which are not adjacent to each other let's call them v and w if degree of v plus degree of w is greater than number of nodes is greater than n then we say k hamiltonian cycle exists karega this is a very loose condition ye is tarah ki baat hai ki aapke graph mein dher sare edges hain to hamiltonian cycle exists karega so otherwise we don't have any quick check for this thing Eilerian graph के लिए we had a quick check if all the vertices have even degree then Eilerian uh, trail will exist and we can find that Eilerian trail using Fleury's algorithm uh, that was uh, quite easy and interesting algorithm so that was a recap of last lecture let's move on uh, today we are going to discuss trees 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 so uh, Okay, this is quite interesting. A fool sees not the same tree that a wise man sees. Uh, William Blake was a famous British English poet. Uh, he has very beautiful poems. I wish to be able to read them. So, uh, trees. What are trees? Trees are structures. Uh, I should say these are. Um, uh, these are connected connected structures connected graph disconnecting hote hai ek hi connected hote hai aur usme cycle nahi hote so if i say ki these are minimal graph 
مینیملی کنیکٹڈ گراف مینیملی کنیکٹڈ گراف کہ اگر اس میں سے ایک بھی ایج اور آپ اس میں سے نکال لیں تو یہ ڈسکنیکٹ ہو جائے گا تو اٹس مینیملی کنیکٹڈ گراف اور اٹس میکسیملی سائیکل فری گراف ایک سائیکل فری گراف اور اٹس میکسیملی سائیکل فری گراف کے اگر اس میں اب آپ ایک اور ایج بھی ڈال دیں تو ایک سائیکل اپیئر ہو جائے گا تو ٹری از ویری تھریش ہولڈ سو ٹری میں ایکچولی اف دیر آر این نوٹس سو وی ول ہیو ایگزیکٹلی این مائنس ون ایج از ان اٹ اور ہیئر یو کین سی لائک دس از اے اسٹار کائنڈ آف اسٹرکچر دس از اے پاتھ پاتھ اور اٹس آن ٹو نوٹس سو وی کین آلسو کال اٹ اسٹار دس از کائنڈ آف decision tree kind of thing ke ye aapka root hai at the bottom and then it is growing up uh, having some branches and leaf nodes above and uh, this is quite a weird kind of graph it's like dog shaped graph so we have to be careful from this graph so again uh, examples we have paths we have stars these are our tree graphs Uh, we may have some kind of decision tree, it's called a rooted tree, we get it, and we are making it, or we can have some uh, other kind of structures, combination of these. So, uh, again, uh, tree is a connected graph. Tree is a connected graph, a condition, or the second condition, it's cycle-free graph. You cannot find a cycle in it. You cannot find a closed path in it. For example, over here, you can see on the left side, we have a closed circuit, a closed cycle, a path, closed path. So this is not a tree. On the right side, there are no closed paths. So the, this is a tree. Uh, so uh, again, I'm repeating definition again and again. Graph is a connected. A uh, tree is a connected graph which contains no cycle as its subgraph. Uh, on the right side, you can see two trees are drawn here. So connectedness for the tree is connected. But uh, when we say a graph is connected, it means it cannot have too few edges. We have a lot of edges, so much edges that the graph پوری طرح کنیکٹ ہی نہیں ہو رہا آپس میں اس کے سارے نوٹ آپس میں کنیکٹ ہی نہیں ہو رہے سو گراف کین ناٹ ہیو ٹو فیو ایجز اینڈ نو سائیکل نو سائیکل مینس گراف کین ناٹ ہیو ٹو مینی ایجز اگر بہت زیادہ ایجز ہوں گے تو سائیکلز اپیئر ہونا شروع ہو جائیں گے بہت کم ایجز ہوں گے تو گراف ڈس کنیکٹ ہونا شروع ہو جائے گا سو ٹری از اسٹرکچر وچ از کنیکٹڈ اینڈ اٹ ہیز نو سائیکل سو اٹس جسٹ آن اے تھریش ہولڈ It doesn't have too few edges. It doesn't have too many edges. And actually, it has exactly n minus 1 edges. If we have n nodes, then we have n minus 1 edges for a tree. So if we remove any edge, graph becomes disconnected. And if we add any edge, graph will contain a cycle. So we are a very, we are standing at a very threshold. Okay, our pass n minus one edges hai, graph connected hai, is mein koi cycle nahi hai, then it is called a tree. Or agar humne ek bhi edge remove kiya, to ye tree nahi rahega, ye disconnect ho jayega. Or agar humne ek bhi edge is mein add kar diya, so it will be no more a tree. Is mein ek cycle appear ho jayega. So let's uh, formally define it as a theorem. So it's theorem 8.1.1 in your textbook. A graph G is a tree. We be graph us from tree cup king. If and only if it is connected. And if we delete any of its edge, the graph become disconnected. Any of the edge. I'm kissy we egg edge for agarham delete care then it become disconnected. Uh, similarly, we can say a graph G is a tree if and only if it contains no cycle. And if we add any new edge, 
it will create a cycle in it. So uh, we are at the threshold. If we remove an edge, the graph becomes disconnected. If we add an edge, graph will contain a cycle. So as a matter of fact, we have exactly n minus one edges in it. Uh, uh, we, do, uh, we say that in a tree, all the edges are bridges. Bridge kya hota hai? Bridge wo wala edge hota hai, jisko agar aap remove kare, to graph disconnect ho jate. Last class mein hamne discuss kiya. Isko hum cut edge bhi kehte hain. Cut edge or bridge. So consider a connected graph G on N nodes. It may not be tree. Theek hai? So can I consider a, any graph G on N nodes and look at any edge E. If we remove this edge and graph become disconnected, it means E is a cut edge. Isko hatane se, isko remove karne se, graph decompose ho jate, disconnect ho jate. So this edge is called a cut edge. Uh, ja, it's from bridge we can say. So cut edge is such an edge, if you remove this edge, the graph becomes disconnected. Disconnected. Or the tree hai, wo is tarah ka graph hai, ki us mein har ek edge aapka cut edge hai. Jitne bhi us mein edge hai, aur n minus one edge hai, un mein se har ek ek cut edge hai. Usko agar aap remove karenge, to graph disconnect ho jayega. So the, uh, this is uh, one important observation. Similarly, we uh, define spanning tree. If you have a graph hai, G. So uh, we'll uh, look at an edge which is not a cut edge. Cut edge, kilawa jo dusre edges hai. We start removing those edges which are not bridges, which are not cut edges. So end pe kya hoga? Aapke paas, uh, when we will remove all those non-cut edges, at the end, we will be left with only cut edges. So it means we are left with only cut edges. It means we are left with a tree. Or ye kis tarah ka tree hai? This tree is spanning the whole of our nodes, all of our nodes. This spanning tree is, this tree is spanning this tree is covering all the nodes of the graph. So such kind of tree is called spanning tree. So uh, different people may remove different edges in different order. So we may have more than one spanning tree. This is graph ke andar, ek se zyada spanning tree ho sakte hai. So counting spanning tree is also one problem, uh, one interesting problem. So spanning tree, again I repeat, spanning tree uh, ek sub graph hota hai. Aapka jo given graph G hai, uska sub graph, uh, spanning tree is a sub graph of graph G such that it covers all the nodes of the graph. Or it is a, it is a tree, so it, uh, like all the edges are cut edges, no cycles in it. So then we define rooted trees. Rooted trees, aapke paas jo bhi tree given hai, usme kisi ek node ko aap pagad lein, usko just call it root. And then uh, expand the whole tree around that node, uh, around that root node. For example, over here on the right side, you can see one node is put at the top. This is called root and then branches are coming out until we reach at the end. So, jo aapke end, end ki nodes hote hain, unka leaf nodes kehte hain. The last nodes, end nodes, ja, is rooted tree ke andar, bottom nodes are called leaf nodes. So, we have a root node, we have certain leaf nodes, and in between we have some intermediate nodes. So, uh, we can define some relationship between the nodes. We can call parent nodes and children nodes. Uh, so, the hierarchy of the tree. So, the parent nodes are called father nodes. 
जो नोड्स नीचे हैं उनको हम चिल्ड्रन नोड्स या सन नोड्स कहते हैं सो so, जो इमीजिएटली एक दूसरे के साथ कनेक्टेड है सो ओवर हेयर यू कैन सी द रूट नोड इट्स पेरेंट नोड और इसका कोई पेरेंट नहीं है इट हैज चिल्ड्रन बट इट डजेंट है एनी पेरेंट नोड और जो लीफ नोड्स हैं इनके चिल्ड्रन नोड्स नहीं है तो दीज आर एट द बॉटम दे हैव पेरेंट्स बट दे डोंट हैव एनी चिल्ड्रन सो ए चाइल्ड नोड हैव ओनली वन पेरेंट नोड दरमियान में आप कोई भी देखें कोई भी एक नोड उठाए उसका जो पेरेंट है उस वो एक ही पेरेंट होगा एक्सेप्ट रूट नोड के उसका कोई पेरेंट नहीं होता बाकी जितने भी नोड्स हैं दे विल हैव एग्जैक्टली वन पेरेंट ये नहीं हो सकता किसी नोड के दो पेरेंट्स हों अगर दो पेरेंट्स होंगे तो क्या होगा सो वी मे हैव टू रूट्स टू गो अप टू पाथ्स टू गो अप एंड इवेंचुअली वी विल मीट एट द रूट नोड सो वी आर मीटिंग एट दैट नोड विच हैज टू पेरेंट्स एंड वी विल गोइंग अप टिल द रूट नोड सो दिस विल फॉर्म ए साइकिल जब साइकिल बनेगा तो इट मीन्स इट्स नॉट ए ट्री तो ट्री के अंदर कभी भी ये नहीं हो सकता कि एक चाइल्ड नोड के दो पेरेंट्स हो सो ए चाइल्ड नोड हैज ओनली वन पेरेंट अपोजिट केस हो सकता है कि वन पेरेंट में है मैनी चिल्ड्रन वो ऑफन आई मीन दिस थिंग हैज टू अकर ऑफन सो ए चाइल्ड नोड हैव ओनली वन पेरेंट if it has more than one parent it means we are going to have cycle so it will not be a tree anymore so uh parent nodes and children nodes uh, uh i mean it should be clear so a uh, ek important cheez jo leaf node hote hain inki degree 1 hoti hai because they are not going to get connected to their children they don't have children inke se parents hote hain so leaf nodes have degree 1 aur baaki jitne bhi nodes hain non leaf nodes unki degree 2 hoti hai ya 2 se zyada bhi ho sakti hai so leaf nodes have degree 1 so uh, just to summarize all the properties of trees so uh, let t be a graph with n vertices trees ko hum t se represent karte hain so the, uh, graph in general we are representing with g so if the graph is tree so we will represent it with t on n nodes if we have tree so we can say all these points for tree a t a t is a tree and it contains no cycle it is a connected component it has exactly n minus 1 edges so uh, t is connected and each of e, its edge is a bridge any two vertices of t are connected by exactly one path agar aap koi se bhi do vertices le let's call them v and w unko aap agar traverse kare ki wo kis tarah aapas mein connected hai so that will define a path so they will have only one path to which they are connected agar do paths honge it means ek cycle ban gaya so tree can the cycle nahi hota so they from any two vertices so if they are connected they are connected exactly by one path unique path so t contains no cycle and if we add any one edge so it will uh, have one cycle so uh, i mean all these things are uh, telling us the same thing the properties of trees so uh, can we draw spanning trees in this graph so if i start from this particular node uh, okay if i am going to start so i can uh, move in any of this direction let's suppose i move here i can move along this direction uh, i can also go to c from a to c or i can go from b to c or i can go from d to c everything will define a tree so this red highlighted edges they are uh giving me a spanning tree and uh, we can define different spanning trees on it kaafi sare spanning trees banenge similarly you can do exercise as exercise 
on other graph how to find span increase kafi sare banenge so how to grow trees so if we have a number of trees if we join them together we we are going to get a big tree so uh, i mean uh, we can just if we have number of trees for example we have four trees here hum inke darmiyan ek ek edge draw kar dein to they will become a one big tree aap iska koi sa bhi node utha le aur dusre tree ka koi sa bhi node utha le isme ek edge draw kar dein so we will get a big tree lekin sirf ek edge draw karna ek se zyada karenge to it will make a cycle so it's just like a, ye do components hain which are disconnected we have to connect them so aap koi bhi end edge draw kare they will get connected so it will become a connected component with no cycle and then similarly you can keep on connecting so in general we can have some figure like this we have many 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 trees and we connect those trees with each other by edges so we will grow a tree we expand a tree theek hai jab so growing tree is uh, simple easy so the, this is quite important and interesting thing let's count trees if we have n nodes on n nodes how many trees we can have uh okay uh, here uh, we can have a question we are counting either label trees or unlabeled trees label trees means each node ko humne koi label diya hua hai koi naam diya hua hai let's say a b c d e unlabeled tree ke unka koi bhi naam nahi hai so for example in this figure you see at the right bottom so we have two trees and the nodes are not labeled so we can if they are not labeled we can place them anywhere and then we have, we have to see whether the given relationship exists between them or not so uh, let's see over here so we have five nodes jisme is node ki degree 1 hai then this node has degree 2 degree 3 degree 1 and degree 1 so we have three nodes with degree 1 one node with degree 2 and one node with degree 3 so on the right side also we see there is one node with degree 3 one node with degree 2 and three nodes with degree 1 to agar gaur se dekhe to it's just like same tree isko yahan se jo degree 3 wala node hai isko yahan se pakad ke ulta ke humne is tarah rakh liya so we get the same tree so agar to unlabeled trees hai so we can say these are same tree लेकिन अगर इनको लेबल लगा दें दिस इज नोट ए बी सी डी ई देन ए बी सी डी ई देन दे आर नॉट द सेम ट्री जो रिलेशनशिप ए और बी के दरमियान है वो यहाँ पे तो नजर ही नहीं आ रहा सो इफ द ट्रीज आर लेबल देन दे आर नॉट द सेम ट्री इफ ट्रीज आर अनलेबल देन दे आर द सेम ट्री सो वी हैव टू काउंट ट्री सो वी कैन आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन are we going to count a labeled tree or an unlabeled tree agar to labeled tree honge to wo zyada honge unlabeled tree honge to wo kam honge it's just like permutation and combination permutation hamari zyada hoti thi because we are ordering them everything is labeled combination hamare paas kam hoti thi because we are considering just group we are grouping them so is tarah labeled or un unlabeled tree mein लेबल ट्रीज हमारे पास ज्यादा होते हैं ऑन एन नोट्स और एन नोट्स पे अनलेबल ट्रीज हमारे पास कम होते हैं सो क्वेश्चन इज के कितने होते हैं सो ओवर हेयर वी हैव केलेस थ्योरम केलेस थ्योरम टेल्स अस फॉर ए लेबल ट्री वी कैन हैव एन रेस टू पावर एन माइनस टू ट्रीज सो जस्ट इमेजिन वी हैव थ्री नोट्स so n is equal to 3 so 3 raised to power 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 one hota hai so 3 raised to power 1 is equal to 3 it's just like we have three nodes a b c so a is in the middle b and c are on the side this is one tree yeah b could be in the middle a and c are on the sides yeah c could be in the middle a and b are on the side so we are going to have three trees jaise jaise nodes badhte jayenge trees ka number bahut zyada hota jayega कितना ज्यादा होता जाएगा जस्ट सी ओवर हेयर वी हैव 10 नोड्स 
जीरो से लेके नाइन तक तो हाउ मेनी ट्रीज वी कैन हैव टेन रेज फॉर टेन माइनस टू टेन माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू एट सो टेन रेज फॉर एट टेन रेज फॉर एट मीन्स हंड्रेड मिलियन ट्रीज we are going to have 100 million possible trees on 10 nodes 100 million is 10 crore 10 crore is a huge number so for 10 nodes we can define 100 million label trees and this quite big number actually so uh, how we get this number n is for n minus 2 we'll come to this question in a while or maybe next lecture let's see uh, how much time we are left here. so as you can see if we have four nodes so we can define different different trees agar to inke upar label na laga ho so all these trees are same lekin agar label laga hua hai to 1 2 3 4 4 3 2 1 1 2 4 3 and many many more will be different trees so it can have four is for 4 2 Four is to power four minus two. Four minus two is two. So four square is sixteen. We can have sixteen trees, label trees on four nodes. Uh, for unlabeled trees, we will have much less. I think we will have just uh, three, three unlabeled trees. Sixteen divided by three factorial. Uh, just something like this. Which one? So Achilles theorem tells us we are going to have n raised per n minus two label trees, distinct label trees. We can have a corollary from Achilles theorem. Corollary, a corollary का मतलब होता है theorem से जो direct result हमें नजर आ रहे हैं, obvious result नजर आ रहे हैं कि हाँ ये है तो ये तो होगा. So the number of spanning trees of K n is n raised per n minus two. Kn, Kn is our complete graph on n nodes. N nodes ka complete graph, the most possible edges are there. Kn, spanning tree, wo tree jo tamam nodes ko cover kar rahe hain. So kitne spanning tree honge? So it means we are going to see all possible nodes on n nodes, all possible trees on n nodes. so they are going to be according to kelly's theorem n raised to power n minus 2 so we will have n raised to power n minus 2 span increase for complete graph so uh, how we get kelly's formula so before we go to that thing we should answer an other question an other question the question is how to store the trees trees ko hum store kaise karte hain अपने कंप्यूटर में कंप्यूटर सिस्टम के अंदर हाउ डू वी स्टोर ट्रीज हम वी नीड टू रिप्रेजेंट आवर ट्रीज इन द कंप्यूटर सो हाउ टू स्टोर इट एंड वट एवर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टोर आवर वी शुड ट्राई टू हैव मिनिमम मेमोरी टू बी यूज वी शुड यूज लीस मेमोरी memory so that uh, it should not be wasted so one one possible way of storing is to define adjacency matrix adjacency matrix humne kiya tha first assignment mein shuru ke lectures mein so adjacency matrix is when two nodes are connected to each other so we we put one over there If two nodes are not connected to each other, so we place zero over there. For example, if uh, uh, all the columns and all the rows are labeled by the nodes, our past nodes are zero to like nine tak, so these are labeled by zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and similarly rows are labeled zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. so uh if two nodes are connected to each other so in that uh, row and in that column we place one if they are not connected to each other we place zero for example 
seven and nine are connected. So it means seven through a ninth column. So there should be one over there. And similarly, ninth row and seventh column, there should be one over there. Two is connected to zero, six, four, nine. It means uh, zero row and uh, second column, it should be one. Ninth row, second column should be one. Fourth row, second column should be one. Ninth, sixth row, second column should be one, and so on. So adjacency matrix ka size kya hoga? If we have n nodes, so it means we are going to have n rows and n columns. So we have to store it n square. Uh, let's suppose we are representing by bits. So n square bits. So we need to store it in n square. Uh, humari, uh, bits ke order mein n square bits humari memory use hogi. Can we do it in a better way? Yes, we can do. Kis uh, Trees, uh, trees mein dekhe, edges itne zyada nahi hai. So we don't need to keep record of a whole adjacency matrix, which uh, takes a, a, a lot of space. So we do something clever. We have edges, and how edges are n minus 1 edges. We have instead of storing nodes and their uh, neighbor nodes, adjacency matrix, we have simple edges to store. Kar lete. So we list down all edges. So, like in two rows, first row gives us one end of the edge, second row tells us the other end of the edge. For example, there is an edge between seven and nine. So we represent it. A pali row mein seven likhne, dusri row mein nine likhne. It's like two by n array. There is an edge eight and nine. So we represent eight and nine. There is an edge between nine and two. So nine upar rakhe, two ko niche rakhe. There is an edge between six and two. Six two aaya. There is an edge between three and zero. There is an edge between 0 and 2, edge between 2 and 4, edge between 6 and 1, edge between 6 and 5. So we list down all these edges. So how many numbers we have stored? n minus 1 times 2. n minus 1 edges. H mean two nodes, hai, so we store n minus one times two. Our pass itne nodes aage. Our pass itni entries aage. So, or our pass. Ah, uh, uh, pehle ham zero or one store karte. Now we are storing numbers or numbers kitne n numbers hai. Jab isko bits mein store karenge, so it means each number takes log two of n bits. So total bits kitni hogi. Yeah, I mean, this is, these things are uh, the digital logic design which is important. So total number of bits we are going to store is 2 into n. Actually, n minus 1, hai, like in, let's call it n. So 2 times n, we have entries, hai, or each entry takes log 2 n bits. So total, we are going to store 2 n log n bits. Pehle hum kitni bits store kar rahe n square. Now we are storing 2 n log n. So which number is better? N square or 2n log n? N square kya hai? N square is n times n. Or dusri side mein humare paas kya hai? N times log of n. N multiplied by 2. Suppose if n is 1000. So n square is going to be 1000 times 1000. It's going to be 10 raised per 6. 1 million. Thus log. Or 2n log 2n kya hoga? 2 times 1000, 2000 ho gaya, log 2 of n. Uh, again, uh, n is 1000, so uh, let's call it 1024. So log 2 of 1024 is 10. So log of n is 10. 2 times 1000 times 10. So it's going to be 20,000. Ek side mein humare paas storage, 1 million bits ki ho rahi hai. Dusri side mein humare paas storage, only 20,000 people. So it's a huge, huge improvement. Or n, usually you have 1,000, uh, it's going to be much, much bigger. So n times log n is far better as compared to n times n. 
So this is one improvement. Can we do better? Yes. And other way of doing this is, uh, let's order our nodes. Uh, let's, uh, and let's make one node as our root node. मैं जीरो का रूट नोट बना लेता हूँ इस गिवन ग्राफ में लेट्स मेक जीरो एज रूट नोट एंड देन आफ्टर दैट आई लिस्ट डाउन ऑल द नोट्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन तो पहली रो में मेरे सारे नोट्स आ गए दूसरी नो दूसरी रो में आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू स्टोर सेकेंड रो आई एम जस्ट स्टोरिंग द पेरेंट्स नोट ऑफ द नोट इन द फर्स्ट रो जीरो हमारा रूट नोड है तो रूट नोड का तो कोई पेरेंट नोड होता नहीं है वी डोंट नीड टू स्टोर एनीथिंग फॉर जीरो वन का रूट नोड क्या है सिक्स तो अंडर वन वी हैव प्लेस सिक्स टू का रूट नोड इज जीरो सो वी हैव प्लेस जीरो ओवर हेयर थ्री का रूट नोड इज जीरो वी प्लेस जीरो ओवर हेयर फोर का पेरेंट नोड इज टू सो वी प्लेस टू ओवर हेयर सिक्स का पेरेंट नोड इज टू So we place two under six. Parent node of seven is nine. So we store nine. Parent node of eight is also nine. We store nine. And parent node of nine is two. We store two over here. So again we have two rows. But in the first row, what is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are in order. So do I need to store them? I think no. I just store the list of parent nodes. The first entry is what is node one ka parent. Hai. Second entry is node two ka parent. Third entry is node three ka parent. Fourth entry is node four ka parent, and so on. Ninth entry is node nine ka parent. So I am just going to store the parent nodes in this order. So this order tells me that the first entry, first node. पेरेंट है सेकेंड एंट्री सेकेंड नोट पेरेंट एंड सो ऑन सो पहले अगर मैं टू एन एंट्रीज स्टोर कर रहा था नो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टोर ओनली एन एंट्रीज एंड ईच एंट्री रिक्वायर्स लॉग एन बिट्स सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टोर एन टाइम्स लॉग एन बिट्स गेन इफ एन इज हंड्रेड सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टोर Uh, uh, if n is thousand, so I'm going to store thousand times ten, so ten thousand. So, पहले मेरे पास twenty thousand अगर entries मुझे store करनी पड़ी थी, अब मुझे ten thousand entries store करनी पड़ी है. Can we do better? Can we do more efficient way? Uh, the answer is yes. They can. I think uh, we cannot cover it. The answer is proof for code. Proof of code. We will uh, cover it in next class. You can give it time. Hold on, I guess. So you can, uh, yeah, uh, go through the book, please. Or next, uh, next lecture, maybe we will finish this topic. Any question? If you have, so you are welcome to ask.